Hello and welcome. Today we've got this 12 amp M18 battery. It's got the flashing lights and it won't charge. Won't power at all either. So what's wrong with this? The first thing we need to check is the voltage coming out the top. So if we check the voltage coming out of the top of the battery, that's the overall voltage of the pack. It'll let us know something. That's 17.64, which is a perfectly chargeable voltage. Might not run at all, but it's perfectly chargeable. However, if you put it on the charge, you get a fully charged light. That's a green fully charged light. That's not fully charged. So to find out what's going on we need to open the pack. I've already removed the four screws from the bottom which will allow me to remove the top lid. And I'll show you this big multimeter. On this big multimeter what is wrong. If we go from plus to negative. Go from plus to negative here at the top. Get this up so you can see it. The first bank of cells is showing 3.18. The second bank of cells, if I get this right, is showing 3.64. Put a cell in balance already. Third bank of cells is showing 3.32. Fourth bank of cells is showing. 3.4 and the final last but not least in this case they've shown over 4 volts which the last bank of cells is fully charged and the rest of them are showing well under what they should be so this bank of cells is signaling to the charger to stop charging and these are all under what they should be so you're only getting over 17 volts so what you have to do is balance up the pack and the way we do this is with the use of a lithium ion or light pro balance charger a b6 Hymax b6 i'll put the link in the description for that and you have to know what you're doing you have to know the polarity or where you're going with these if you're unsure you have a multimeter there you can see from the top, that's the plus there. I don't know if you can see that, someone's written that, that's the minus. So I'm going to the plus terminal, but I'm going to the minus here, um, which is easy to find out. There's a coating in these that has to come off. The lady contact that's showing 13.85 volts, so we want to bring that up to about 16 volts to match the end bank. So you're charging this one, two, three, four banks of cells that go from plus to minus, plus to minus, plus to minus, plus to minus. So you're effectively charging from here all the way down to here, and you're leaving out this last bank of cells, which is fully charged, we've already established. And to set your charger, you keep pressing the start button, I'll show you what you do. I'm putting the 6 amps because I want this fairly quickly. And put the 4S, that's 4S, that's the 4 series. If you're charging the whole battery, it's 5. If you're charging one bank, it's 1. Two banks, is 2, etc. So we're charging 4 banks of cells here. So once we have that set to like this, we hold the button. And the uh, test to see if it's getting a good connection, and then it'll go. And we just let that go, and we let that charge for a little while. Because these aren't level, they're this one actually is going to come up higher first. That's going to come up. That's going to top out at four volts before the other three banks. So this is going to be a slow process, we're going to have to bring this up to 4 first, 
and bring this one up to four and then bring these two up to four they're pretty close to each other so it's going to be a long process and you just have to keep switching the leads around so when that's still charging i'm going to take a wee minute to try and explain better what is actually going on with this battery and why it won't power at all and why it won't charge why it's showing fully charged this cell as you know was four volts it was fully charged so therefore it was signaling to the charger to stop charging and some of these were down to below three and a half volts and they were signaling the tool to not work when we put the tool on it so that's how all that works and it's very very well it's very well done by these companies to be able to do that if you had a charger that ignored this and kept charging the rest and that you would destroy that bank of cells and if you had a drill that would keep going even though some of these cells are critically low it would destroy them cells and over discharge them so i'm going to do a bit of a volt check here when the when it's charging this second bank is higher than the rest the second bank in here and it will be <clears throat> 3 point nine nine so it's coming up near the four volts so once that second bank gets to the four volts we're going to have to change it around and charge a single bank and then we're going to have to change around and charge these two on their own as well it's a long arduous process so this is getting pretty near where we want it to be this bank it's up near 403 so we're going to have to change around the leads again here we're going to have to um let's get this out of the way we're going to have to change around the leads and charge this individual bank i'll show you how to do that now right we'll stop the charger and we're going to change over the leads we're going to change this to charge this one bank so we're going from one side to the other at the front here wherever you can get it clipped on that it makes a connection and with that clipped on now so we have to change the uh, settings here changing it from 4s to 1s so we're only charging one bank of cells that makes any sense so here we go there's And we'll press the button and hold. And it's going to check. And then it's going to charge. So the B6 charger is charging away at that one bank of cells. And bringing it up slowly there. And once it gets to over 4, 404, 405. We're going to change it around again. So here we are. 55 minutes have elapsed. And we're up to nearly nearly 4.03 so that's near enough where we want to be we'll give her another couple of minutes to get up there and then we'll just change around the leads again right we're 57 minutes in so i'm going to change this round again i'm going to show you how to do it again so I stop the charger and we've charged this bank this bank that bank was full so it's these two that we're looking to charge and the first one's going on here the negative's going on here and the positive has to go on here so we'll have to get that pried up a little bit and get that out down there somehow that's making a decent connection so we're charging two banks now so we'll have to go back to the light pro charger and go to two yes hit the button then hold There we're off charging again. There we go. So we'll probably have to leave this another hour again and come back to it. Right, since we've last last found, there's been heavy rain here. It's just the noise to give the noise, but it's been half an hour since, and we have. I think we've got there. We've got where we want to go. That heavy rain is just making it difficult, I don't know. Get that 
We're still charging here at the moment, but I think we're near enough there. 405 in that bank. And if we change this round, get 402, I suppose. So I think we might have done enough. I might put off the charger and see if that works now. I'll stop the charger and take it off. Put it to one side and take the multimeter back in to see what we're actually getting in the real world now, out the top. We get number 20 volts, which is very, very good. So what I'm going to do is put the top back on, put it on the charger, see if it resets. Still got that flashing light, so hopefully the charger, hopefully the charger will reset that flashing light. We hope. I'll take it off here to see. It'll be shown fully charged anyway. There we are. So I'm calling that fixed. So that's how you balance the cells and repair your 12 amp Milwaukee battery if you have the flashing light and cell imbalance and the like, shutting here not charging fully so if you like that video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos